Hi guys, Adam here representing Narva Australia. Today's topic is multimeters again, but this time on the ohm scale. Remember, in the voltage section that we did, there's a few tips on how to set up the multimeter back then. Click on the link and you'll be able to go back to that. But a quick rundown on what we've done here is we've turned our dial to the ohm section on the multimeter and we have now still the black on the common and the red on this funny little ohm symbol here. So you just gotta make sure that the, the probes are actually in the, right, in the right spots on the multimeter. Not a lot of times will you actually use a multimeter in the ohm section when you're doing DIY stuff at home, but in a, in a uh, automotive application and workshop side of things, we use it quite a lot. We actually test things like these, this sensor that I've got here, which is actually a camshaft, a crankshaft sensor. And basically, every sensor, the winding inside there, will actually have a certain ohms reading. And we just touch the two probes inside there and we can see that we've got 1.35 ohms on that. So that will actually relate to uh, a correct reading for that sensor and it'll show us whether the sensor is actually working or not working. Ultimately, where I see it really useful in a uh, four-wheel drive wiring application or whatever it might be, is that if you've actually run a whole series of wires in through the firewall of your vehicle uh, and you've got, them, you've got two or three with the same colour and you're not actually sure which wire is the one that you should be working through on this end. So you can see here that I actually have uh, a wire that I've, I've run through the firewall and I've pulled it out the other side so that you can see it's come through the car and back out the other side so it goes in through the firewall. And all I really need to do is actually touch the two probes together just like that. And if you see now on the multimeter over here, you can see that I've actually now got continuity. It's gone down to zero on the scale. If I disconnect that, it goes back up to one. So all of a sudden, I now have taken the guesswork out of which wire that I've actually taken through the firewall. It's a really handy little device. Again, you must be careful because the, uh, the ohm meter actually uses a battery and it pushes a current through those wires so that it actually registers. So again, make sure you know which wires you're testing because these new vehicles, uh, especially with airbag wiring, uh, it can actually be a little bit dangerous to, um, to start putting voltage through. So just make sure you know the, which wire you're actually on. Uh, apart from that, guys, if there's anything else that you want to see, please leave a comment below and we'll get onto it for you. I'll see you next time.